So I'm back with another, going to make another short video here. A friend of mine brought me this thing. It's called a Viriac or a Rheostat. And what it does, this is zero voltage. And as I turn it, the voltage increases up to 120. So my burns are going to start out a lot slower and a little bit more manageable. It's not going to be just a wild burn. So I've never used this. Um, he just he just dropped it off. In fact, he's still here. Curl. <laughs> Again, off my neighbor's wood pile. And my neighbor doesn't mind if I take this wood. So just so you know, I'm not stealing it. So what we're going to do is put the probes on end for end. Now this is basically zero volts. So I'll plug it in, and it won't do anything. It won't do anything until I start increasing the volts. Okay, it's just starting off real slow. This sound isn't even doing anything. As I increase the volts, this end, okay, now this end is starting to burn right now. <laughs> I didn't unplug it. I did move the probe. It's still plugged in, which I guess is safe. I'm going to try it again. This is real wet here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn up the Viriac. Okay, now they're both starting to burn. And basically... Okay, we're we're basically at full power now. So this would be just like if you just plugged in the microwave oven transformer. I was moving. So now I'm gonna turn it down. And see you can control the burn a lot better. I guess you get more fine detail with a slower burn. Up. Let it connect. Turn it off. Cool. That, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. I just thought about getting one of the like, little zombie dancing things. I don't know. And I'm like, I think they're hilarious because they're like the metal ones. Yeah. And I think they're adorable. It feels just a little thin. I'm zero. Uh, I said like 0.8. Yeah. This, this is a little bit of being thin. You weren't videotaping that way. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Turning it up. Okay. So you get a lot, you can get a lot more fine detail with this. Right on just an all out uncontrolled burn. Drink. Team drink, Arnie. <laughs> A little more easier control. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, here we go again. I'm about, there we go. Just both ends are starting about the same. Okay, I'm at, I'm at full power right there. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, 
this is going to be nice. Okay, I'm going to shut it off before they come in. Burning pretty deep in there. Oh, here we go. Shut it off. Cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, we'll try a couple more little little spots here. Let me just try one. Okay, here we go. This will be starting out slow. There that one goes. Very nice. Yeah, this works good. Oh, let's see if we can get some in this area here. It's nice not having to plug and unplug. Well, I think as it gets hotter too, you can just turn it down so it doesn't burn. Yeah. And uh, see how I just read it, how much detail you get. Okay, turn it off. We'll try one more spot right over here. Think that they're going to wash it up. If they're going to wash it up, bleach it, and I'll bring it back. I'm going to clean this one. Again, it's just a soft bristle brush. You really got to. Especially in the, the deep burns, you really have to get in there and get all the charred wood out. Pretty much when the water runs clear. The, the discoloration you get from the the, the burning process and uh, I think it has to do with the baking soda, water solution mix. But I'm pretty sure that my oxalic acid should clean that all up. So that's the next step. This is just a tablespoon of oxalic acid per cup of water. It might not clean this off, I'm not sure. It should light me up. So there, I'm just going to let that soak about 10 minutes. Rinse it off, seal it. Okay. This is kind of like two videos in one, but the first video I burned this piece of red oak. It just cut off sitting on a wood pile. Turned out kind of neat. I might give it a coat of poly or something. And then a friend of mine brought me this big bad boy. Uh, it's a very act, like I said before. It's from 0 volts to 120 volts when you turn it on, it's not plugged in. And then I did a piece of red oak with it, just to experiment. And you can control the burn a lot better. You get a lot, a slower burn, you get more fine detail. And on the full, when it's wide open, you get these, these deep, deep trenches like this. So if you're burning like pine or softwood, you want 
little less voltage so it doesn't burn quite so deep. So, and I lied, it, it didn't, it didn't really clean up the end of the, the stain, but no big deal. <clears throat> so, so there you go. I hope you like it. Like, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.